Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Crash, bang, boom, heaven, earth. And the earth was formless and void. It's kind of like your hair. And God said, let there be light. And he turned on the switch. God doesn't need a switch. He just spoke and there was light. Crash, bang, boom, light. And God separated the light from the darkness. He called light day, and the darkness he called power outage. <laughs> he called darkness night. And that was the first day. Day number one. Then God separated the waters. He put some way up high and some down on the earth. And in between he made a watercress sandwich. Oh God goodness. made the atmosphere, the air that we breathe, <gasps> pollution. Back then it was pure air, and that was the second day. Day number two. <laughs> then God gathered the waters together and made dry land appear. And on the land he made the plants grow. Bop, bop, bop. Petunias, roses, skunk cabbage. <laughs> and that was the third day. Day number three. Then God made a great light in the sky. General Electric. No, it was the sun. And then God made the lesser light. The moon. Made of cheese. The moon is made out of rock. And God made all the stars. Like me. Not like you. Hey, I'm a star. I'm talking about the stars in the sky. And that was day number four. Day number four. Then God made fish in the sea. Hmm, something looks like fish this. And birds in the sky. Hey, look. It'll burn. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> and that was day number five. Day number five. And then on the sixth day, God made all the animals and bugs. And then he made something really special. Television? No! <laughs> he made a man whose name was Adam and a woman whose name was... Merle. Her name was Eve. Aw, uh, Christmas Eve. Just a God placed them in a beautiful garden and told them to take care of the garden. He told them that they could eat up any tree they want, except for the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And prune trees. There's nothing wrong with prunes. Oh. <laughs> when she and uh, and God said that if they ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they would surely die. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But one day, Eve was out walking in the garden when she came upon the serpent. In those days, the serpent was the most wisest and the most beautiful of all creatures. Like me. And the serpent said, Want to buy a watch? <laughs> he said, I shall cost it all to let you eat for two months. But Eve said, Oh, no, we can eat any tree you like, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. If we eat that tree, I'll die. You tell me. But the serpent said, God is trying to trick you. He is? You will die. God knows if that if you eat that food. Your tongue will turn into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you eat that fruit, the serpent said, you will be just like God. Eve looked at the fruit and looked, saw that it looked good to eat. Don't do it, Eve. She reached up and picked it. Put it back, Eve. And she took a bite. Spit it out, spit it out. <laughs> and then she gave some to Adam. And he ate some. And they were changed. And the whole of the evening, God came walking through. Garden. Quick, everybody, hide! <laughs> and God said, Adam, where are you? Nobody here but us chickens. <laughs> and God said, you've been eating the fruit of the tree of a knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> God said to Adam, because you disobeyed me, everyone will now have to die. Right now? <laughs> no! But everybody dies now because Adam and Eve disobeyed God in the garden. And that's why God sent his son, Jesus, to earth to die for us, so that if we believe in him, we receive everlasting life, and we no longer have to be afraid of that death that